blackfacts.com presents LGBTQ plus pioneers Storm DeLarvery Storm DeLarvery, a gay rights activist best known for her part in the Stonewall Uprisings, was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, in 1920. Storm was born to an African-American mother who was a servant to a white homeowner, her father. DeLarvery is best known for possibly throwing the first punch of the June 27, 1969 uprising at Stonewall Inn in Greenwich Village. While some witnesses say that DeLarvery threw the first punch, and she made the claim as well, there were many people involved in the uprising which made it difficult to determine who the instigator was. Either way, DeLarvery was a large part of what is seen as the catalyst for the protests that set off the gay rights movement. Two weeks after the rebellion, DeLarvery was part of the official formation of the Stonewall Veterans Association on July 11, 1969. She was active in the organization, holding the offices of Chief of Security and Ambassador. From 1998 to 2000, she served as the organization's vice president. From the 1980s through the 1990s, DeLarvery worked as a singer and a bouncer. She patrolled gay clubs and bars on Lower 7th and 8th Avenues on the lookout for intolerance. On June 7, 2012, Brooklyn Pride Incorporated honored DeLarvery at the Brooklyn Society for Ethical Culture. She was also featured in a film directed by Michelle Parkerson, Storm, The Lady of the Jewel Box. On April 24, 2014, DeLarvery was honored by the Brooklyn Community Pride Center for her fearlessness and bravery, and was presented with a proclamation from New York City public advocate Letitia James. After a long struggle with dementia, DeLarvery died in her sleep on May 24, 2014 in a Brooklyn nursing home. She was 93 years old. Learn more at blackfacts.com.